<laughs> um, well, I guess I mean what, what you're producing is, is I would say grass. Right. Yes, okay. You're, you're That's a grass, right. That's grass right. grower. We're grass growers. But the other thing we're producing, a couple of things we're producing, which are important, uh, we're producing time for recreation. Now that is, you know, yeah, that is a, that is something that you produce by planning for it, yeah. and it's absolutely important. You know, I, when I was mad, when I was first here and young and. Put on when, the floor. when you were first mad, put on, put on, <laughs> put on the floor going. Well, mad coming to Burrawa. <laughs> going, going hell for leather. Um, you know, I didn't have a holiday. It was ridiculous. Yeah. We didn't have a holiday for a long time, like ten years. And I thought you I were farming, David. You weren't allowed. No, that's right. Yeah, I felt guilty going to town. Yeah. Um, but uh, I've got over that. Um, but the people, if you go to the pantry on Pudman uh, at any day of the week, you'll 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 know David's definitely got over that. I'm disappointed about that <laughs> reputation I seem to have achieved. Uh, oh, sorry, back I'm, to, I back might to be, the... I might have got become too relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> I feel guilty. I'm trying to push you I out. I feel of guilty when, when my neighbours are working too hard. <laughs> no, no, don't don't feel the guilt. Uh, so yeah, so okay, we're produ uh, producing some time for oh, recreation. That's, that's a really very, good. That's a really very important thing. Yeah. Uh, thirdly. Uh, we're producing time for habitat to uh, be established. Mm. Now that's an unusual thing for farmers to think about, but I've come to the view that um, a lot of the things we, we're famous at intervening. I mean, humans have intervened in the in the landscape since agriculture began uh, in lots of ways, and mostly we've been dismantling the landscape and converting the natural capital in the landscape. Uh, we're taking the energy from the natural landscape and diverting it to ourselves mm. and that's what's allowed society to develop the way it has. We don't want to give up on that, but we've got to get more balanced about it. So um, planning time for, and we've found with our grazing now that is uh, fairly high impact for a couple of days on small, fairly small areas, like these cows are on, um, I think it's seven hectares, they'll be here for a day or a day and a half, maybe two days. Mm. Um, and then they'll be moving and they won't be coming back here for five or six months. Now in that time, and we've noticed that there's a little tree just over there that's come up by itself. Yep. So we've, we've found we've got, we're getting regeneration from these trees that are old. Uh, they've never had any progeny uh, for over a hundred years and now they're having progeny. That is an incredibly exciting thing and it's happening at no cost. So that's, if you're interested in that, and you probably should be, mm -hmm. uh, that's an incredibly valuable thing. So no, that's, that's the production stuff. There's lots of other things that people are producing. I can't think what they'd be, but they're... I think the time one's... That's, that's a really good way to yeah. put it, because, you know, at the end of the day, we are completely in control of our time. It's all about yeah. the decisions we make and prioritising, and, yeah. and prioritising time for ourselves is a, is a bit of a... Um, yeah. a no, no, but a rare thing for farmers. And, yeah, it and is and, important. And I love that, the idea of um, producing time for the ecology to do what it... Yeah, it, it it has been doing for yeah, so yeah. long, and then and right. the intervention that's actually buggered it up. Yeah, so yeah, the, the the natural world is always trying to proceed to a more complex state. Now it's not stable; it's dynamic all the time, and it, it becomes more or less stable uh, depending on uh, the distance from the last catastrophic disturbance. And I'm talking about things like uh, big storms, fires, droughts. All of those things are big disturbances. Now, we have been incredibly good at intervening all the time and trying to steer it in the way we think it should go. We know best, don't we? Yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. But now we're getting wise yeah. and we realise that we know very little. Yeah. We know a lot, but what we know, what there is to know is not much. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I, I've actually found that by intervening less, and it's very hard to make yourself not intervene, uh, I've found by, by not intervening so much that uh, this farm looks a hell of a lot better than it did when we were intervening and throwing lots of money around. But what a wonderful concept! Like, yeah. um, not working, or not not so sort of not working, but not doing as much. Not mm. you know putting aside the word intervene, but not putting the inputs in and not yeah. spending the money and not you know checking uh, each individual age group of ewes because they're all in separate paddocks and those sort of things. Yeah. I mean, what a what a great um, uh, change of management and thinking. Um, and, and what a wonderful um, consequences of yeah. that, you know, socially I mean, and yeah. with your family and ecologically. Yep. This this farm, um, you know, I, I was fully engaged running this farm, and I still am. But but it doesn't take me very long to do what we have to do because we're 
we've got one mob of cattle at the moment. Sometimes we have a couple, some, not often three, but mostly one or two. Uh, that's worth mentioning actually. When it gets dry, when conditions are really dry, um, one of the things you can do is to amalgamate mobs, have less mobs, because the more mobs you've got, the more, the quicker you're going to get around your paddocks. And if it's dry and it stays dry, you're going to be, um, you know, eating yourself out of house and home if you're not careful. So uh, one of the things we did in the spring that I mentioned in 2017, which was very dry, um, we had paddocks that, um, that had quite a lot of uh, old dry feed from the uh, big wet spring of 2016 that was still there. Um, there was the spring growth, which was not great. Um, but instead of grazing a whole paddock in one go, we, we put some electric tapes across it and we broke a lot of paddocks up into two or three sections. And we found that we could get the same number of days in each section as we were planning for that particular paddock that was one that we made into three. So what you get is with higher density, you get better utilisation. The paddocks look absolutely fantastic when the stock came out of them and we got a lot more days, of, uh, a number of more days of grazing from that same area, which meant that we added days of recovery to all the paddocks that we weren't in yet. Mm. That's incredibly important. I, suppose, uh, I guess going into spring, if that's, if that's a scenario in a springtime, then you know, banking feed in front of you because you, you're better utilising the feed you're on at the moment means you've got that, you know, it's pushing your feed out through the yeah, summer, which is, is you know, when you don't, we don't get the growth here, yeah. or unless it's a whopping. Well, summer. I mean, we, we do get we do we get, get some. We get if you look at our rainfall over 120 years, it's it's. Um, get that, Dave. Uh, yeah, if you look at our rainfall over 120 years, it's it's about 50 mils a month. It's dead even, yeah. but it's incredibly variable. So, but we do get uh, we usually get a few storms through the summer. And we've usually lacked things that take advantage of that, except what everyone whinges about is summer rain brings weeds. Uh, but we've, we love weeds. we've now got a lot of um, summer active perennial grasses that have just, in fact, I was saying to someone this morning uh, that this farm's gradually turning from a, a, a cool season active plant uh, population. Still got lots of those and we like them um, because we get a lot of growth in the cool months. But um, we've, get, we've now got a whole lot of species that evolved here that are spreading all over this place and providing wonderful feed in summer Sorry. where we never, we never could get that. Not yet. We were struggling. David, um, we'll leave it there. Look right. at these magnificent, if I can work this machine out, look at those magnificent animals. Oh, how are we going there? Down. Oh, a bit too smart from being <laughs> good, David. Look at this. Hey? Railroaded by technology. Oh, yeah, Stop. I'm a techno. Yeah. I'm usually a you're technophobe. Just, you're, just, you're just not quite young enough to, <laughs> to handle this. <laughs> no. I'm only 20. Hang on.